When you speak out publicly in support of Israel, you get a lot of abuse, of course, but along with it, you get quite an education about the number of people who blame Jews, not Israelis, Jews, for everything bad in the world. Now, this is a sentiment that I've always been aware of, of course, as a kind of noxious undercurrent that I occasionally get a whiff of, but lately it's something that I'm getting told about literally every single day, usually several times a day. I've even had a personal acquaintance approach me in the pub to tell me about the Jews and how they control everything, which I'm sure would come as a major surprise to those people in Europe who are afraid to identify themselves publicly as Jews in case they get physically attacked. For this video, I know I'll be bombarded on social media with Jew hate from people who see me as some kind of race traitor. I know I'll be sent all kinds of disgusting cartoons and references to the protocols of the Elders of Zion, an anti-Semitic forgery, in case you're one of the few people who still don't know. And I know I'll be sent again and again a certain video in support of the claim that Jews, among their many other crimes, are directly responsible for the Muslim invasion. It's a video interview with a Jewish academic in Sweden who expresses her naive personal view that multiculturalism in Europe is inevitable, that it's generally a good thing, and that Jews should support it. To a number of unhinged individuals, this amounts to incontrovertible proof that Jews are masterminding Islam's invasion of Europe, despite being among the people most heavily threatened by it. Synagogues and Jewish schools in Europe need armed guards 24-7, and Jews are currently fleeing Europe in droves to escape imported Muslim violence, yet somehow they're still in a position to mastermind the invasion, because, as everyone knows, they control the world. That's right, 0.2% of the world's population control everyone else while being hounded and vilified by everyone else. Those Jews who get beaten up on the streets of Europe are actually controlling their Muslim attackers like marionettes, and they've got such complete control of the media that journalists are indifferent to anti-Semitic violence and almost uniformly hostile towards Israel. That's quite an achievement by those all-powerful Jews, wouldn't you say? The fact is that Jew hatred has become a lot more fashionable recently in Europe. It's been fairly dormant since the Second World War for obvious reasons, but like a seed that just needs a few drops of water to sprout into life, it's been nourished by a flood tide of Jew-hating Muslims. Currently, 16 countries in the world ban Israelis from entering. The one thing that unites them is Islam, a religion that hated Jews long before the State of Israel was ever thought of. If Israel was a Christian country, there wouldn't be any such blacklist and the situation in the region would be very different. Yes, there would be hostility because there always is from Islam, but there wouldn't be this relentless hysterical demonization and generations of Arab children wouldn't be hypnotized into hatred and bloodlust from infancy. But Israel is not a Christian country, it's a Jewish one. And Islam hates Jews, not Israelis, Jews. And Muslim children all over the world are taught that Jews are the eternal enemy. And Europe is importing millions of Muslims, meaning Europe is importing wholesale Jew hatred. I wonder who's behind it all. If you know, I'm sure you'll tell me.